Marie Zeno. I'm an embroidery designer and also a commercial embroidery business owner. And today I'd like to share with you my 1970s era denim jeans. I've embroidered the denim jeans at the leg and at the upper thigh. I like to kind of plan my layout by selecting an embroidery design that's fairly dense and a larger size um, and pick some fun, bright colors to stand out on your denim. This is a sample of a template that I printed from my embroidery software. And then I, um, I've actually printed two templates. This is um, the main template and then I cut out a smaller portion. And then this is the large flower shown here on the denim stitch out. It's always good to test your embroidery designs to stitch the um, actual design and the actual size that you're planning to embroider on your garment. That way, if you have to change the density or um, change the design overall, it's just a good way to plan your embroidery, plan for success. And the stabilizer that I've selected is a simple um, poly mesh or no-show mesh cutaway. It's actually fusible and you iron it on the wrong side of your fabric, which I'm going to show you in the area where you've selected to embroider your uh, designs. I'm going to show you how I have actually started to um, hoop on this cylinder frame. It's a specialty hoop for a commercial uh, machine, since I have a commercial business. Um, if you do not have a commercial machine, you do not have the cylinder hoop, it's easy to just open up the side seam of your denim jeans and lay them flat on your uh, embroidery hoop and stitch the same kind of design. So you do not have to have this type of hoop to embroider denim jeans at the leg. But it makes it a lot easier if you're doing the bottom area and when you're going to plan for the upper thigh area. So I have already um, ironed the fusible interface, uh, the fusible stabilizer to the wrong side of my pant leg on this particular uh, leg. And you can see what it looks like here. It's a big kind of patch, uh, big, almost a five by seven piece of stabilizer that I've put to the wrong side of the fabric because this I'm going to do the upper, uh, upper thigh area and the pant leg. So I've already attached it to my cylinder frame, which you can see. And it is held in place by these clips. The specialty clips are included in that frame. So it holds it nice and tight. You want your um, fabric to be taut in the hoop. And that's another reason why we use that nice stabilizer. The cutaway keeps it nice and tight and it will not stretch and pucker after you do your embroidery. So I am going to attach this to the machine right now you just push with your thumbs and release the frame. It's very simple. And I kind of just place the remainder of the denim jeans on that bottom shelf. And cl clicks right in place. And before we get stitching, I'm going to place my, t my template right on top of the denim on the seam area where I desire my embroidery design to be located. And this is a wonderful tool that I like to use. It actually has a live camera. I'll press that icon and on the screen, there's a green crosshair, if you can see that. And I'm gonna line that up with the crosshair on my template just by using the jog keys. Moves right up there. And we go. You can notice that the cylinder hoop is moving in a round fashion. It's going from side to side, and that's what keeps the fabric nice and taut in the hoop. Uh, and it's not going to shift and be pulled out at any point while you're embroidering. The clips hold it all in place so it's nice and tight. And then the bottom of the pant leg is free and it's not going to get caught underneath the hoop like you would in a standard flat hoop. So it's a, it's a wonderful tool to use if you're going to do narrow pant hems or sleeves, um, even socks, gloves, different things like that. And now it's stitching the outside part of the daisy. 
We're going to let this stitch for a little bit, and then I'm going to show you how we would plan our embroidery by moving up the pant leg on the cylinder hoop. Because your cylinder hoop only um, allows for a particular design about three inches uh, tall. So if you're doing a large size design, you're going to have to re-hoop your pants and clip them on that frame to position the embroidery to go up the leg, to cascade up the leg. You can see on the screen, it tells you exactly how many stitches the embroidery design is, how many colors are included, and how long it would take to stitch. It's a very helpful tool when you're planning your embroidery, you have, your, you have a good guideline on how long your project might take if you're embroidering multiple designs. Notice how powerful this machine is. It's a heavy duty commercial machine and it can stitch right on top of the denim seam without breaking a needle or rip, you know, breaking a thread. Uh, I've also stabilized it properly with the cutaway fusible um, poly mesh. And the design is a nice density. And like I mentioned uh, before, if you do not have the cylinder hoop or commercial machine, it's easy enough to embroider denim by opening the side seam, laying your pant leg flat on your embroidery hoop, and planning your embroidery layout, you know, simply with templates and using either a live camera or the positioning sticker. If this was on the home machine, you wouldn't be able to stitch right on top of the seam like we're doing right now. See how easy it moves right on top of the thick denim seam? Okay. I'd like to show you how we would rehoop and do the upper thigh area on the, on the denim jeans so that you don't stitch the pocket. We'll wait till this portion is finished and then I'll remove the pant leg. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna stop the machine right there. And we're gonna pull off the hoop. Sorry. Like that. And we'll take these off. All the clips come off real easy. And now we'll do the upper thigh portion of the pants. And you pull the pocket out of the way so you don't stitch the pocket. I've already stabilized that. And we're just gonna add the clips. Let's kind of do it nice and tight right on the upper thigh seam area. Okay. Add it to the machine. and make sure that's moved out of the way. And stitch our embroidery design. We'll go back to the beginning. The important part is to keep the pocket portion outside of the um, embroidery area. You don't want to stitch your pocket to the inside seam of your embroidery design. That's why the cylinder hoop is helpful with all those special clips and you can just move it up the leg or down the pant leg as needed. And it keeps those extra rivets and seams and pockets out of the way. This is a great project to customize any denim jeans that you might have or new jeans for yourself and uh, create something original and unique. You could monogram it or embroider flowers. Um, I love the cylinder hoop. It's, you know, it's a wonderful tool to have if you have the commercial machine, but if you don't, you can still do it at home on your home machine. 
it's not difficult. So our denim jeans for the 1970s rage, anything denim and embroidered up the leg with daisies and flowers. I, I love the style of those jeans and I find that uh, it's a really fun project to work on for yourself or for a friend, maybe one of your children. Use some bright, colorful embroidery threads and be a 1970s flower child.